Snaps, this is Toy with the Greg. Welcome back to another exciting episode here on Toy with the Greg Gaming. Today we are starting, uh, I, I guess I can't really say it's a mini-series because honestly without being on a schedule, every series is kind of a, like, I guess, a, more of a mini-series? I don't know, but... We are playing Overwatch. My friends have been pestering me, both YouTube and real-life friends have been pestering me for a while to get this game. Athena? So I didn't realize how basic this tutorial was going to be. Uh, um, but uh, basically Overwatch is a... Basically Overwatch is a TF2 style game um, made by Blizzard. It's fairly new and uh, we're going to be playing it. Both, my, Like I said, my YouTube friends and my real life friends have been, uh, have been pestering me to get the game. And generally speaking, I've been burned in that by that in the past. We're like, oh, everyone's like, oh, this is the new hotness. We're all gonna get this game, and so I pay full price for a new game, and and then and then like a week later, everybody's like, ah, eh, we're 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 moving on to something else. Um, and so I've been resistant, but eventually, I mean, the game was only forty dollars, um, and I was finally like, you know what? I got sick of just being a pester. I was like, you know what? Fine, I'll buy it. It does look fun, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. So we've done it. Uh, and I have, uh... Yeah. So this is a game, it's basically, like I said, like TF2, you've got all the different classes and characters and stuff you can play, and, uh, basically you, you have objectives, and it's team on team, and whether you're, you know, um... Whether you're defending the point, or, or pushing the car, uh, payload or something. Melee attack. V to melee. Yeah, that's something I actually didn't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've played a little bit of this. I figured we'd do the tutorial together, although I did not realize how basic this was going to be. <laughs> um, so... So, but yeah, so we're going to be playing some Overwatch. We're going to be playing with some friends on YouTube, maybe some real-life friend recording stuff. I don't know. It's just going to pump up occasionally as I, I get a chance to play with people. I played for a couple of hours doing some very basic stuff last night. Uh, I recorded some of that, but unfortunately all the content corrupted. Um, and so um, I can't even really use it. And so J and K's are off the hook on that one. But i uh, been playing with J and K's a little bit last night. Just trying to get the very basic feel of some of the heroes. Um, definitely, you know, these this kinds of game is not like my forte for sure. Like... Uh, left shift. Biotics. Is this Mass Effect? Oh, I've seen these before. But yeah, so Overwatch, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, I did not realize how incredibly basic this tutorial was going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump ahead uh, to a an actual match. And I'm going to be terrible at it, but I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be fun. Uh, and so we're just going to go ahead and do that because this is awful. Uh, I really, I don't need, uh, I don't need this level of hand-holding. So let's go ahead and play, um... Quick play, and we'll uh, we'll search for a game. And uh, I've played around with a couple. I, I had a couple of you know classes and characters that I was pretty decent with, uh, or at least enjoyed playing with in TF2. So we'll probably stick to those in the early game. I was kind of jumping all around last night as we were playing. Uh, okay, so let's. Okay, so we already have a Torbond and a Bastion, which is a little unfortunate because those are the two favorite characters of mine. Uh, let's see. So we've got. Okay, so these are these are defense classes. We don't really have a lot of attackers. 
Uh, let's, I guess we were doing that Soldier 76 before. I'd never used him before, but he actually seemed to have some interesting stuff. So let's go ahead and attempt with him. He's an attacking character. Hero, I guess is what they're called. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and we're stopping the payload. So we are defending the payload progress. So probably an attacker is not the one we want to use anyway. We'll switch at our next death. You probably want a more defensive or tanky character to kind of push back on uh, on the payload there. But uh, at least this time we're going to be um, playing with people who are more our speed. Um, and so, okay, yeah, so <laughs> the, I've, I've used the Roadhog before. Uh, so let's go ahead and, in fact, we are going to want to go ahead and do... Let's jump in with Bastion. Bastion's one of those characters that in the beta definitely came out as super OP, and I think he's been nerfed. Um, but he's definitely kind of like the heavy of this game compared like to TF2, which this game, you know, uh, K's, uh, would get kind of upset when I would say like, oh, so it's a shiny TF2. But it, it is, it's a shiny TF2, which isn't a bad thing. TF2 is a great game, and so there's nothing wrong with it being a shiny TF2, but that is what it is. Um, and so we'll just kind of, uh, let that be. Uh, okay, so hold on. But yeah, this guy's basically like the heavy with the minigun and everything like that. Now, to do the big minigun, um, you've got to uh, become an immobile turret. Uh, so, and and you're more vulnerable in turret form. Um, okay, yeah, so we died there. Um, but you are also way more powerful. Um, and so, okay, so I got killed by another bastion. I didn't even, where is that guy? Where was, where was he even at? Um but basically, it's it's essentially, you know, uh, a little more fleshed... I don't even know if I can say it's a little more fleshed out. You've got more characters you can play, so there's more play styles. Um, but in terms of, um, you know, game play style, like just in terms of the objectives and everything, it seems to be basically TF2. Um, but it's it's shiny and new, and it is a lot of fun. Um, and so, from, from my limited experience with it already, I would certainly recommend it. Um, because it's just, it's, you know, it's just, it's a lot of fun, nice, simple gameplay, um, you know, it takes some getting used to for sure with, um, because there's so many heroes and, like, everybody's got this ultimate, so you can see this little icon in the middle of my screen that's, um, it's like 61 and it's slowly gaining, um, but, um, once we get to 100, we will be able to, um, use our ultimate attack or whatever. It's kind of like the Smash, uh, what, what, what was it called? The Super Smash Ball sort of thing in, in Super Smash Brothers where, like, you kind of have this ultimate attack that kind of pops up when you, you hit this certain item. Uh, it's basically like that. Um, Bastion, um, right now he's an immobile mi minigun, but he becomes a, um, a, a mortar-spewing tank uh, that you can drive around. Um, and, and all of these characters have their own special things. So it is is definitely... It takes a little more skill, or at least uh, practice, to get good at this game because you've got to, there's so many, I think there's like 20 plus um, heroes that you can play as, and um, each of them have pretty unique um, ways of, of being played. So it's, um, it, you've got to kind of know, okay, so like we've got D.Va over here, this girl in the mech, and uh, her, you know, you got to know that her special ability is going to, um, you know, cause a huge explosion or something or whatever. You, you've got to know what to expect when certain characters do certain things, otherwise you will end up dead. Um, so, uh, am I... Yeah, Bastion's, uh, <laughs> Bastion's uh, special isn't super great. Next time we get a wave of people coming, we'll use ours. Uh, just to kind of show you. Um, okay, there's somebody coming. Let's just go ahead and do it, because why not? Um, where are they at? I just saw somebody come up. Oop, no, we didn't even get to use it. Well, that's unfortunate. It'll it'll regen over time. And Bastia can heal himself a little bit. Uh... Let's get out of here, though. We don't want to. We don't want to die necessarily. Let's grab a health pack here, and then we'll set back up. Um, let's set up right. I'm gonna set up right here. All right. So I think we're actually gonna be able to defend this thing. Um, kill that roadhog there. 
Um, usually the defense ones, even in like, usually even in like TF2 or whatever, it's, uh, it's difficult. But there we go, we got a victory there. So this is a little bit more my speed. Last night when I was playing with J and K's, they're both like level 30 and level 60 or whatever. Um, and so I was being pulled into level 30 or level 60 games, <laughs> which is a bit challenging. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, okay, so, oh, he got like... Where is this even? Was that even in this match? Maybe I jumped in in round two of a match or something. Uh, we'll, we'll vote for our team member. So after each round you get to vote on who gets extra points or something? I didn't really fully understand what this was, but whoever gets the most points, you usually, yeah, I've been voting, for, well last night I was playing with friends and today, you know, vote for teammates or whatever. Um, but yeah, so it gives you some stats and stuff at the end as well. Um, I'd never used the Soldier 76 before, and, and so you've got to kind of think, okay, so if, if, if you're in a defending game mode, um, you know, what what kind of care hero do you want to use? And in fact, when we get to the hero selection uh, page here, uh, we'll, we'll look at some of those heroes a little more in depth real quick. Um, because, you know, you've got different classes, you've got attacking and defending and def or attack, defense, um, tanking and support. So these are the support characters. I haven't really done anything with them yet. Um, I'm gonna go. Ahead, what, what are we playing? Watch attack. Attack the watch point. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's do let's do Roadhog. Um. Okay, so this is a payload. Okay, so I don't want the Roadhog, but that's okay. <laughs> it's an attacking, like, point capture, whatever. Um, we'll want to be... Uh, okay, so hold on, I need to remember. Yeah, okay, so this guy, he's got a chain. He can pull, you know, more fragile characters into him. Um, and, uh, and, and then he can demolish them a little bit. Um, he can heal himself a little bit. Um, so everybody has like a left shift ability. Um, everybody has like a left shift ability, an E ability, a Q ability, um, sort of thing. So, so there we go. We got Torbond there, but we ended up getting killed by somebody else. Let's go ahead and actually, if we're doing uh, the payload one, let's go ahead and Reinhardt is a good one for that. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, he's like this giant knight guy. I don't know if there's a way to like change camera so you can see the character we're playing as or not, but he's this giant knight guy. He's got this um, shield that's basically impenetrable, and you, all your people can hide behind it, and they can shoot through it and everything. Um, but uh, you, uh, you know, you you can only like you're only protected from a certain angle and and things like that. But it's great for this kinds of game where you're kind of trying to push through. Uh, and so if people can, we can keep up on the payload, people can stay next to me and everything. Ah, that didn't work. Yeah. He, and so it takes a while, it, like I said, every hero's got multiple different little, you know, attacks and stuff. So you've got a left shift, an E, a Q, and then your mouse buttons and things like that. And each of them is different and should be used in different instances and stuff like that. So getting actually comfortable with um, with a hero and being able to use them to their best effect is uh, is difficult so we can stay on the payload now the payloads usually yeah can go through the ice field so we're able to keep them back a bit now they can't really get to us too much the rest of my team needs to get up here but uh, Okay, we gotta fall back. Um, what is the... There we go. There's a, a, a rocket attack where you can slam somebody against a wall with this guy and he's so huge it usually kills. You had to try and remember that, okay. Alright, uh... Come on, payload. I feel like sometimes if there's only one person on it, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, alright. Um, let's go ahead and 
he's well, he's pretty. If if somebody's actually supporting Reinhardt, he's usually or Rein, yeah, Reinhardt, he's usually pretty decent. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of people who seem to be interested. So we're gonna continue with him. If we can get somebody else to come up on the payload, now, the problem is with this game and and especially well, I think it's less prevalent in this game because I think people recognize it, but definitely in TF2 and I've seen it a little bit in this game and heard some people complain about it. A lot of times you'll find people are more interested in personal glory uh, or like getting kills and stuff than actually completing the objectives and you can't complete the objectives alone so I, I noticed that a lot in TF2 people would be way too busy killing each other it's like well we've got this payload we've got to push maybe people should get on this and you can worry about killing each other in a minute like but um Ooh. thought I was gonna hit that guy <laughs> I guess I died mid uh, mid attack there all right so let's um let's in fact try somebody else just for um interest sake um, at best, yeah. I haven't really done a lot with any of those super attacking ones, and honestly, right now, super attacking is probably not. Let's try Winston. He's a, a big ape, so let's go ahead and give him a shot here. Uh, could be interesting. Um, and we'll see. I am not. I, I played with Winston once last night, and I was. I didn't really get a great hang of him. There we go, we got her. Um, oh yeah. So some of these, like this this girl we just killed or whatever, is like a, a scout. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I've, I haven't figured out how to do a lot of good work with Winston, unfortunately. In fact, I, I, I need to switch that up. Let's go, let's go back to Roadhog. Let's give him another shot. Um... Yeah, I don't think with the way our team's working that we're going to hit this, but let's just give it a shot. The the car is backing up here. <clears throat> oh no, Farah. Trapped. Ooh. Yeah, this team is way more organized than we are. Uh, in fact, we need to go back to Reinhardt. Because we need to be able to push through some of these waves of attack and try and get back on this thing. I don't think... I think if we're on it and we're pushing it forward and we're close to the checkpoint we'll get some overtime um, but I don't think it lasts a real long time there we go we got people pushing here No, people get back on the thing. Ooh, that was a uh, junk rat. <laughs> I heard him coming. Yeah, that's Jay's favorite uh, character, I think. Yeah, we got defeated on that one. Yikes, man! They were they were organized for sure, and we were not. So good for them. All right, play the game. Let's see it. Okay. Again, I feel like I'm jumping in the middle of... Ooh! I blocked damage. Vote for me! Yes! Yes! I'm getting votes! <laughs> I think I can get more experience with that? I'm not really sure what all that entails, but there we go. Awesome. <laughs> oh, so close. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, there it is. This is Overwatch. I think we're going to call that good for today. We'll definitely play around with this a little bit more, probably with other people and stuff like that more than not. But if I feel like jumping in here and recording a quick couple of matches, we'll do that too. It'll just be fine, a kind of a nice game to kind of break up because it's, it's nothing but fun. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and uh, before we jump into this other game, I think that's probably enough time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torm with the Grain. You guys have been great. Have a good one.